We mm. have a habit mm. you do not pass liter mm. and you don't drop liter. So therefore, a liter that may have come by the wind or by the bird, mm -hmm. it will mm. not last. Uh, you know this one, this one has defeated us, eh? Agenda 4. You remember Agenda 4? Agenda 4 of the 2000 and of the peace accord. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a reconciliation. Yes. We are unable to do that one. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. So, reconciliation, there is one class which is growing it. Mm. So when they grow it, in essence, they also in, they show us how it is done, eh? not how it is, it is described. And so they infect us, we also begin to grow it. Instant reconciliation. Mm. And the habit is, you know that is the statement, mm. the habit is you quickly mm say mm. I am sorry mm. just quickly mm. Mm. instant mm. we also have a house that grows it Good. At the beginning of every term, students contribute according to what they have uh, towards the Samaritan Bank. We also have the contribution of teachers, and this has enabled the students to live in peace. There is no stealing, so there is, we embrace the value of honesty. If you don't have anything, you go to the leaders of the Samaritan Bank, and when you request for anything that you don't have, you will be given. Personally, I've been growing the value of sharing, and I realize that the beauty of sharing is in seeing others receive that which they don't have and actually see them there uh, smile on their faces just because they receive them. So giving has really uh, given me this feeling, this peace that I've always wanted that such that if my friend is lacking something I can always stretch out my hand and give to her that which she doesn't have as long as I'm, I'm at the possible condition to give that person. And we can give in so many different ways, just as our teachers, they share to us their knowledge. Our own principles share to us the value system, which is also helping us. So I realize we have to give back, and so that's why I practice sharing. Once you start using the values, and, you, and they become part of you, you can never be the same again. You will not be who you used to be. It changes you, and even if you leave this school after your four years, you become a different person and a better person, and you make Kenya a better place. Once a wise man said that the strongest man is one who stands for the truth and the value of honesty really agrees with that quote. It has enabled me to stand for the truth in each and every situation, whether everyone is against me or is for me. As long as I know the thing is right and the thing is truth, I'll stand for it. Growing the value of the situation of humanity, I have to appreciate her the way she looks like and I'll have to cope up with her. So this has enabled me to grow up and to become a better person in the society. The value system has really helped me in my character. Back then I was not honest, but since I came to this school, I realized that when you get something that is not yours, you are supposed to give it up so that they are announced for their own. Habits, which can be posters, which can be messages, they, they evolve them by themselves. You know, once they see a tree grow, Mm. and love it mm. and and uh, encourage the plant tree at home yes it will be hard for them to cut a tree mm. they will mourn for karura mm. so you can as well say wangari mother is not dead eh? yes. yes because they will love it mm -hmm. nobody mm. in fact there will be no regulation or uh, or law this is now the center of our value system that's how we are feeling tribalism. 
Also, I'd like to add to my friends of there is that uh, not to have the kind of tribalism, for instance, the way I had. I never imagined I can come to learn all the way from Nairobi to entire high school, but I just found myself here and it's really helping me. And leadership is not in the mind, but it's not in the rank, but it's in the mind. This is integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, integrity is the beginning different from a person with integrity in terms of you might finish a year. Can you name anybody? Because everybody is a king, <laughs> including me. <laughs> mm. Mm. The, the, and then, mm. then we give them an opportunity to appreciate traditional foods mm -hmm. by seeing them grow mm -hmm. and by eating them. Okay. Yes. And you return to the garden? That, no, the gardens would be, the, they say, the planting sometimes are called them too, mm -hmm. but uh, the time would not allow. Okay, the, okay. But, uh, but they can see, like uh, when I'm planting this uh, kunde, mm -hmm. I can call them and say, let us plant. Let us plant the kunde uh, for moja. Uh, okay. So that okay, is that. integrity, that integrity is leadership. leadership. So the owners of these houses, mm -hmm. they do what the writing below says. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so grow all our coffee to become the leader the Kenyan sport. Yeah. Then. Integrity produces a consumer. Mm. Wow. So all, all these grounds, they keep them by themselves. Somebody has just cut this. They, uh, you know, it's, it is, it is uh, beauty for beauty's sake. Eh? That's what is called ambience, eh? mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not somebody told me. It's them who are in charge of it and they manage it. And yeah, they, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't. I also manage my own compound. So. <laughs> they, yeah. they need to manage theirs. Mm, they need to manage theirs. Wow. Mm. Well, one thing that has amazed me. Mm. They have learned not to pluck a flower. Mm -hmm. They are able to leave it there for mm -hmm. everybody to, to enjoy. enjoy it. Yes. And that is, I think, to me, that is the appreciation. The interesting thing about value system, eh, mm -hmm. it continues to evolve. Mm -hmm. As the mm -hmm. child embraces, they come up with something. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. where we have reached, looking at Honesty, responsibility, integrity. Mm. Where we have reached, our girls always turn in money which they have picked. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it was at the beginning of this year, on a closing day. Mm. Was it in March? There's a girl who took a thousand shillings at the day. It means another girl had just dropped mm. She put her bag down, came back mm. and handed it in. Wow. Here it is. This morning, mm -hmm. the teacher was announcing that some money was in. And she said it was a lot of money. Mm. And the, the person who is coming in the money, from all the indications, so they really need that money. My name is uh, George Ojera. Deputy Principal at Terry High School, but uh, commonly is known as to the Lord of God. This school is four years old, started in 2011, but initially the school started in 1972 by Asian, up to 2010. Then from 2011, the school was taken by a renowned educationist, Ms. Priscilla Wery. And uh, from 2011 up to now, uh, the school is uh, a pure gas Boarding. And um, when he took over, the school was very uh, low in enrollment and uh, even the performance was very poor. Most of the students in this school were from other places who had been, uh, who had been uh, sent away due to probably discipline or academic problem. So the, these people are dumping ground for all the academic dwarfs. But after that, when, when we took over, uh, we begin by just starting from the scratch. And then we build over and over. And uh, as of now, we are talking about around 150 students. But previously, we used to have a boys' school. But right now, it's a girls' school. And even if you look at the performance, we took the school over when it was a mean of 2.1.
then it went to 3.2, then it went to 6.8, then by the last year we had 7.4. The first time I came, I was not given the rules. I was just told to read from the values on the wall. And we all know you're supposed to give, if the formative evaluation, you give it on time. You're supposed to represent it on time without being asked to. Things keep moving, the wheels just move without having the mechanical push. Everyone knows what they're supposed to do, not expected to do. And I like it. Like, I think you are told, the sharing, it rubbed on mm -hmm. others. Each of them pick a value, and you can see it even in their writings. The parents come and they're like, they have noticed a change in their kids. So it's it's really working. It's working for the good of each and every person around us and around them. So this year, 20, 2014, uh, we expect at least to get a, a double digit. When we did our, our county mock, uh, we took the f uh, number five in the county, over 300 schools. So these are I hope that we are going to do well uh, in this year. The way we are running this school is a bit unique because we don't follow the, the normal uh, the, 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 the normal things that other schools are doing, the, the rules and the regulations. Our school is based on the values. Uh, some of the values that we have bought in, the, in the, one of the walls, the love, reconciliation, integrity, readability, timeliness, responsibility, reconciliation, those are the things that we do. You know, we, we used to work in places where we have the rules and regulations that the don'ts. And you know, the students have been talking about the don'ts. So what, those are the things that they want to do. But for us here, the girls, they leave the values. And they also, these values, they even uh, it also permeates up to the uh, home level. They also affect their families so that they can also leave these values. You remember, most of the kids these days, they are being brought up by the, by the house girls, not the, the parents. A number of them, because parents are so busy. Mom goes to the west, father goes to the east. They meet in the evening at the table, they are tired. So nobody talks about them, how to grow up to be good. So we are doing that one in this school. And that's why we, we are proud that the girls that you are raising up in this school, uh, they are a cut about the rest. Is, how, how do you expect a, in a school where a, a child loses a thousand shillings on the ground and one picks it and brings the teacher up and all this money? It's amazing. And even this morning, one of the girls just collected some money and gave the teacher. Told the teacher, go this money, pull it somewhere, please give it to the owner. The school, actually it means a lot for me. Uh, since this is a girl child school, and I was also once a girl child and I'm still a mother, of course, and a mother of a girl. <laughs> so, uh, I actually see a difference in how girls can be handled in a way that can produce a lot of results in them. So it means a lot to me. It has shown me how to handle the girl children and uh, it, it, it helps me to even extend outside. So, oh, so this is what I need to do with the girls even outside there or any other place if by chance I would happen to be in another place. I'm James Chacha. I teach maths and geography. What's the the school for me is more than life because if life is all about it's about learning new things here and there and therefore I find the school to be to be life that is a school that makes a human the behavior of the students in this school cannot be compared with the behavior of other students outside outside this this boundary of the school. I find it it's the best thing that actually can can make a human being. I just put you to be a human being because if we try to check on what is happening in this school, in that we are not pressing the student so that she gets to realize that this thing is important. It's just by the virtue of knowing that oh it's good for me to be honest because it's good. So that one, I think it's very important. We can even get an opportunity to go outside. Of course, yes, uh, there is no uh, place that is 100% perfect. Therefore, there will always be challenges. Uh, the, some of the challenges I face is that sometimes you have really uh, been with girls and, and uh, 
synchronize with them, train them. So you have a program for the next uh, uh, time, the next period of the next lesson. Then you find one girl is not there. Maybe has gone home for school fee or uh, maybe some issues of sickness. So the first problem is the, the background. So they come from this public school where Belize is not a big deal, even they don't know what they are. So joining this school they find but then you need time to acclimatize and accept. And during that duration, there is an aspect of resistance. Number two, it's maybe financial issues. Maybe some students cannot access their school to You know, when you are, somebody is told that a student is in a private school, the perception in the society is that that is a special place. So if it can go, that is a problem with us, but if it can go to other areas, it can be seen that actually if the values are found in public schools and now in a private, they can be informed. We only have one single stream each, from one, from two to from four, single stream each. Although we have a space that we can even accommodate two streams at from four, but now we are still growing. And, and because of that, uh, maybe with the time we might have two streams or even three streams. I've interacted with a few and uh, they are quite positive uh, about the school but also very much surprised because uh, uh, they are just wondering at the system, it looks quite unique to them but they are very positive and a big number of them are longing for their students to, to come and learn from here. Um, we want these values, they are going to, is, is a lifestyle. We tell them it's not for us, it's for everybody in the society. Because once they go outside there, they are able to, they are going to spread this value system so that they can, it can affect their families, the community, and the whole of the Kenya. I believe that uh, this is something that it should be like a virus, it's supposed to spread uh, for the good of a country. If we have people having the integrity of this nation, you can be sure that what we are suffering from, like the, the, the corruption, won't be there. Because if you have the integrity, you won't want to steal the money in the office. If you wrong one another as a community, you're supposed to reconcile. And that's what we're telling our girls that when you mess each other, what you can, the best thing you can do is to reconcile. You don't have to keep the grudges. You don't have to keep on uh, fighting for over something. In fact, if Kenya was uh, everybody was, was, was living a, 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 um, a life of reconciliation. What happened in 2007? Well, not happened. The, 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 the reconciliation should start with the grassroots. And it's the common man who can bring this change, not the top people. You know, in fact, on the ground, we have the masses of the people. And if these masses are able to know and live the values, the love, reconciliation, the integrity, then it can affect everything in this country. It will be a complete paradigm shift on what we've been doing and what we're we 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 supposed to do. Our girls, they are, they are agents of change. They have to change the families, the community, and everybody in this society, and even this country. The value system, no one knew that it can be inculcated into us, but either way, she always finds her way into doing things the correct way, always putting God first in everything that she does. She has made me realize that you don't just do things to do them, you have to make them good. You have to do things to the best you can. She's a perfectionist and I love that about her. Whenever you hear people talking about her, you just feel inspired because whatever, whenever you go, you just hear, she made this person succeed, she made this person succeed. So you just have the feeling that she can also make me succeed. She motivates me as, as in when anything that she says encourages me and enables me to improve to the next ladder. The value system itself has enabled us to remove all the impurities that can lead us or that can make us to get the poor performance and this has enabled us to improve from one level to another. Grow the values, grow them and they'll also change your lives. If they have changed our lives, why not change your lives? A literate tongue and a literate mind is one formidable combination. But when you add when you when you add to that good virtues 
then you have something very special. And which are these good virtues that you're talking about? You're talking about our school core values. The values we have in this school, just pick on some of the values, inculcate them in your life, and you'll see a very big difference. Kenya will never be the same. And now that you know we are the leaders of tomorrow, so let's do this today.